uh, we uh, so this uh, this person uh, from beginning Genesis uh, chapter 14 uh, through Abraham, Abraham before God say to uh, Abraham he, his name was Abraham the time uh, this Melchizedek uh, could appear to Abraham so we see the Genesis chapter 4. Uh, we see this Melchizedek for the first time in the book of Genesis chapter 4. Verse 18. Then uh, Melchizedek, king of uh, Salem, brought out bread and wine. He was the priest of God Most High. And he blessed him and said, Blessed be Abraham of God Most High, uh, possessor of heaven and the earth. And blessed be God Most High, who has delivered your enemies into your hand. And he gave him a tithe. Of war. So, uh, when uh, Abraham came back from the, the battle, uh, do you remember the story when the Abraham uh, saved uh, his uh, lot, his family, and then when he came, in, came back, this uh, the priest, the priest of God Most High, is called Melchizedek, he appeared to Abraham. Then, uh, as he was a priest, he blessed Abraham and uh, he uh, offered the bread and the wine. Actually, Abraham, he uh, facing uh, and received guidance, God, by himself. But it was for the first time he received guidance by priest. So this Melchizedek was the first priest before God. Uh, actually, you know, we need to think about this Melchizedek because the Jesus Christ, the Bible say, he is according to order of uh, Melchizedek. So, we need to thinking about this Melchizedek. Uh, this uh, priest is different the priest of uh, like Levi. You know, when we thinking about like Abraham, the Abraham begotten son Isaac. And Isaac begotten son Jacob. Then Jacob God the son, like Judah and other brothers. So among Jacob brothers, you no, know, there was Levi. So Levi become the priest among the Israel. So all like Israel, they regard Levi as a priest. Because God say, uh, among, you know, your brothers, choose Levi as a priest. So, uh, priest followed from the, like a Levite. So all Israel, you know, they regarded the priest is a Levite. But all of a sudden, Jesus Christ came to them as a high priest. So they couldn't understand because they regard priest supposed to follow from the Levite. But Jesus Christ, even he was not belong to Levite. You know, Jesus Christ was born through the like, Jew. Jew. Huh? So the people regard it, Jesus Christ is not priest. So all the people in Israel, when Jesus you know, appeared to them, you know, they couldn't accept. Because they regarded Levite 
only family of Levi, like you know Aaron. No? Aaron, his son, and his son, their son was a uh, priest, and the other priest continue it follow. So like a son and a father, son and the other son continue follow this priest. But Jesus Christ all of a sudden appeared to them and say, like high priest. So all the Israel, as I say, they couldn't accept as a high priest. So the people reject Jesus. But this Hebrew, you know, during the time, the uh, generation of the time after write the Hebrew, you know, all the people, they regard it like this. Only priests follow from the Levite family. But this Hebrew author say another way. Like, you know, Jesus Christ is according to order of Melchizedek. You know, this Melchizedek appeared to Abraham and there was no other people instead of Melchizedek. No, Levi, as I told you, Levi, follow, continue, continue from the son and the other son and the other son. But Melchizedek, there was no other person follow Melchizedek. Like when Melchizedek appeared to Abraham, and there was no other like follow Melchizedek. So, like it was totally different. Levi, the priest, follow again and so on and so on. But Melchizedek was the first and the last. You understand? So when uh, this Hebrew author explain about Jesus, you know, high priest, eh? no, this uh, Hebrew author want to explain to people, Jesus is high priest not according to Levi family, he according to order of Messiah. So this is why here scripture say Hebrew chapter five. Uh, Verse uh, 6. As he also said in other place, you are a priest forever according to order of Messiah. So this Hebrew author, you know, revealed this verse. Why? Jesus Christ is different. He is not ordered by Levi. He is ordered by Melchizedek. So when the uh, when the Israel, you know, especially Hebrew people, you know, they couldn't accept Jesus because they thought only priest is from the Levite. But this Hebrew author explained Jesus Christ priest, not ordered by Levi, ordered by Melchizedek who appeared for the first time to Abraham. There was no other behind. So if, you know, this uh, Hebrew, you know, don't accept Jesus Christ, because their understanding was like, only priest is a Levi. So he is not priest. So if they don't accept Jesus, then they cannot accept Jesus who worship our sin. So that's why, Hebrew author want to explain to, you know, Hebrew people, like, Jesus Christ is a priest, but is not ordered by Levi, is ordered by Melchizedek. So, Hebrew author want to explain to Hebrew to accept Jesus Christ. So, if we don't accept Jesus, it's like we cannot accept what Jesus done for us. Very important is Jesus watch our sin forever. So if they don't accept Jesus, then even they cannot accept what Jesus done. For them. So Hebrew author want to explain. Hey you, you know, you think only Levite priest. 
But Jesus is priest not by Levite Melchizedek, which, uh, which was uh, chosen by God. So that time, not only priest, you know, Israel, they was uh, confused. Many things, you know, not the true image through the shadow. You know, Levite also shadow was shadow of, you know, Jesus Christ. You know, Levite priest, you know, true priest was Jesus Christ, the order of message. But Israel, they was looking on other, you know, things which was not right image. They was looking shadow, shadow. Do you know shadow, right? Yeah. Shadow is not right image. No, shadow just appear from the true image. So what is the important? Important is not shadow. Important is the true shape, isn't it? But Israel at the time, it was looking, you know, shadow, like Levi priest, Levi priest. So Levi priest also shadow of Jesus Christ. The true. Not only priest at the time, you know, the temple. Do you know temple? Yes, temple. Temple also, you know, it was a shadow. The shadow of the true temple, which was in heaven. heaven. You now Moses, he saw true image in the uh, heaven. So as he saw everything, he came back to, you know, uh, to, to his place again, and he built by his hands temple, you know, the tabernacle and the temple. But people, Israel, they look, you know, this temple, which was not true image, shadow. So they couldn't see the true image through watching the shadow. So, Hebrew author continue explain about true image. Jesus Christ is a high priest, true image. He is ordered by Melchizedek, not Levite. But Israel, they was looking like a shadow, like a huh? Levite priest. And the temple. Temple also, Temple is a shadow of Jesus Christ. But they was just to see the temple only. Not only temple, even Ten Commandments. Ten Commandments. Ten Commandments was shadow of Jesus Christ. And even Sabbath. Do you know Sabbath? Like they work hard up to six day and the seven day a rest. The Sabbath means true rest. So through Sabbath, actually God wants uh, everyone understand true Sabbath, the Jesus Christ. Jesus was a true Sabbath. You understand? So you know when the people see Jesus as they could uh, receive rest. Uh, through Sabbath, you know, people can receive true rest through Jesus Christ. But at that time, even though true Sabbath, true priest, true temple, true law came to them, but they didn't see Jesus Christ. They saw like shadow, Levi priest and the Sabbath, which came from the law. So they do work hard and they like uh, uh, rest. But actually instead they rest, they just, you know, follow Sabbath. Like according to the law. So even, you know, in Israel, they still follow this Sabbath. Even though Jesus already came, so God wants to give true rest to them. 
but they continue keeping the this sabbath, which is shadow. So even I heard uh, in Israel, also we have a good news mission church. We have a missionary there. As uh, you know, this Israel, they follow Sabbath as a law, not for you know rest. So they cannot do anything during Sabbath. Even they cannot switch on the light. They cannot cooking because they use a fire. So one day, like you know, the friend of uh, the missionary, the Israel. He called to missionary because missionary he is a gentile according to their their knowledge. So gentile can break the law, no problem. But Israel they keep the law. So one day, you know, it was a very hot hot season, but like summer, very hot. So this Israel Israel he called like a missionary because he was a Gentile, he is Gentile. So the, the Israel, he spoke to the missionary. Ah, today I feel very hot. I feel very hot. Ah, I hope so someone come like this. But what well, was that mean? He cannot turn on the switch, the air condition. Because if he turn on the switch, he break the day. But he want to call missionary to turn on the switch this. So we see they don't understand the meaning of a Sabbath. Actually, God teach them Sabbath to discover true Sabbath, Jesus Christ. But Israel, even now as we see here, you know, through the Hebrew, you know, they just looking, you know, the Sabbath and the priest and the temple, which was like a shadow of Jesus Christ. So they didn't see Jesus Christ. So Hebrew author want to explain to them. You see, Jesus is a high priest. But as you think, you know, you think Levite priest is only priest. But you see he, here, when Abraham, you know, met this Melchizedek, he was a for the first priest, high priest. So Jesus, he is according to the order of Melchizedek, the priest, uh, which is not Levite priest. So when you know Israel was uh, looking only a priest, which they thought. Through Hebrew, this book, they discover, ah, oh, yes, Jesus Christ, he is priest, not according to Levi, through Melchizedek. So, we can understand this way. So, we see here, one by one, the Hebrew chapter 5, verse 4, And no man takes his honor to himself, but he who is called by God. Just as Aaron was. You know, there was uh, so many other tribes among the, you know, the children of Jacob. But God chose, like, you know, the family of Aaron. Aaron. So, this, uh, the, like, a priest is not by them. You know, it was uh, by God. Chose. So, this honor, you know, this honor came to them, to Aaron, because it's by not man, it's by God. So, even Christ also. Christ is not by himself, God chose him. So, verse 5. So, also Christ did not glorify himself to become high priest. But it was he who said to him, You are my son. Today I have begotten. So even Jesus Christ, you know, he is not the person who chosen by himself, 
by the God. And the verse 6. As he also says in another place, you are a priest forever according to the order of God. So what is the difference? The Levite the priest. You know, as I told you, you know, Levite, you know, from the Aaron and Aaron's son. And Aaron's sons of son, like following and following like this, which is not food. But Jesus Christ, you are a priest forever, forever. So the priest, the Aaron, and the priest of Jesus, is totally different. Jesus, you know, priest is from the beginning of the end. But Aaron's the priest, there is a limit, a certain you know time, and the son and the other son and follow and follow. So we see here, you know, Aaron's priest is not true, true image. They was like shadow. But Jesus Christ is true image. So we see here, you know, uh, Hebrew author explained, like Jesus is true high priest, and there is no other, you know, true high priest, only Jesus Christ. So he is like forever. So we can see here difference. So through this Hebrew, the topic is considered Jesus Christ. So at the time, you know, Israel they was looking the shadow, the shadow, natural image. So through Hebrew we can understand that Jesus Christ, He is a true shape, true image, not shadow. So when the people saw another things, like uh, as I told you, like uh, Levi priest and the temple and then the Mandaman and the Tapas. So those things actually all explain about Jesus Christ. But even though God showed those things who know to understand Jesus, but they just looking those things only. Even though Jesus came already, they couldn't see Jesus right away because they was looking the shadow image. Not true image. No Hebrew authors. Don't see Levite priest. Don't think only you think the Levite priest only. You know, Jesus is a high priest from the Mel Melchizedek. Not as you think Levite priest. So, this Hebrew author want to change the mind of Israel. If they don't change the mind, if they think continue Levite, only Levite, the priest, then they cannot accept. They cannot accept a main issue, what Jesus done for them. Jesus died on the cross and worship all our sins. So we see here, you know, verse 3, the Hebrew chapter 5 verse 3, because of this, he is required as a for the people, so also for himself to order, uh, to offer sacrifice for sins. So, Aaron priest, you no know, Levi priest, you no know, they were chosen from the men. So when they do sacrifice, you no know, not only people, they need themselves sacrifice for sin. Because even Levi, the priest, they are men. So they have guilty. So they do the sacrifice for their sin. But Jesus Christ, you know, Jesus is not same like Levi, man, priest. Jesus is Melchizedek, which is uh, not, you know, dirty, not evil. So, he don't need sacrifice for him. He 
was a wholly perfect like this. So through this explanation, as I told you, you know, this uh, Hebrew author, he wants to change the people's mind. Don't look shadow. See the truth, the Jesus, the truth. So through Messiah, you know, Jesus, uh, this uh, Hebrew author want to explain about Jesus. So, hope so everyone also understand about this. Don't look the shadow. Shadow is the uh, not real image. Real image is Jesus. So, we supposed to consider Jesus Christ the true image. Not other things. Not only, you know, priest, also, uh, but also like temple. You know, it's all shadow. We're supposed to look at you know, Jesus Christ. So, I hope so everyone understand. Only look Jesus Christ. With true image. Uh, with, uh, true shape. So, thank you so much. Oh. Thank you.